when you use the same tool for work and your personal life, as more and more of us do these days, you need it to do everything well. Few achieve that. But the HP Spectre X360 13.5 is the rare jack of all trades that cuts few corners as a do-it-all device. It isn't the most powerful laptop out there in fact. HP is using a 15W Intel U-Series processor here, which seems to help with battery life. But those who use spreadsheets and text documents, browse the web and do nothing more strenuous than some photo editing should be fine. Design HP has made one handsome laptop. The Spectre X360 13.5 is simple and clean, with a few flourishes to make it feel like a fashion item, not just hardware. The Spectre's recycled aluminum chassis feels premium in the hands. We tested it in Nightfall Black with brass accents, though you can also get it in silver or a dark blue. HP logo reflects off the lid in the light gold color, which also highlights the edges of the device. It's especially noticeable on the back edges of the laptop, which are cut flat to fit ports. When you open the laptop, you will see that the 13.5 inch 3 2 display has thin bezels on the side, though HP left more room on the top and bottom, presumably to fit the 5 megapixel camera. Considering how much screen real estate you get with the taller aspect ratio, I can take a bit of bezel. The right side of the screen is magnetized so you can attach an included stylus for storage. The backlit keyboard has a large, striking font on it, with the exception of an empty space for the fingerprint reader. That fingerprint reader worked quickly and accurately when I couldn't use facial recognition because I was wearing a mask. The spacious touchpad also has the same brass trimming as the rest of the notebook. Productivity performance. We tested the HP Spectre X360 with an Intel Core Icefin 1255U, 16GB of RAM and a 1TB PCI. HP choice of a U-series processor here suggests that the company is focused on keeping the Spectre cool and quiet. This is the same CPU we saw in the Dell Inspiron 14 2-in-1 while the Lenovo Yoga 9i Gen 7, which is also a slim 2-in-1, one with a higher wattage in Alcor Icefin 1260p. We're also tossing in Apple's MacBook Air with M2 into the test pool, which is also quiet, because that system doesn't have a fan at all. On Geekbench 5, an overall performance test with an emphasis on the CPU, the Spectre notched a single-core score of 1668 and a multi-core score of 7243. The Lenovo Yoga 9 Gen 7 with a Core Icefin 1260p traded blows with the Spectre, scoring slightly higher on single core and slightly lower on multi core. The Dell Inspiron 14 2 in 1, with the same processor as the Spectre, was very similar on single core but behind on multi core performance. Apple's M2 showed off, winning on both single core and multi core performance. Display The Spectre X360 has a 13.5 inch display with a 3. 2 aspect ratio to show as much of your work as possible. It's great if, like me, you write a lot and want to see more of your work. It also means less scrolling as you read. We tested HP 3000X 2000 OLED display which is bright and vivid, but the company also has 1008X touch screens. The screen isn't quite 4K, but I used it to watch one of our test films, the 4K short Tears of Steel. A very early scene features two characters, one dressed in dark clothes, the other in neon blues and pinks. Those colors stood out against the deep blacks, as well as out-of-focus greens from leaves in the background, keyboard, touchpad, and stylus. The Spectre has clicky, responsive keys, but I wish the travel were a bit deeper. Still, on the Munka type typing test, I reached 114 words per minute with 98% accuracy. That's about as good as I tend to do. The power button is on the keyboard, to the left of the delete key. A simple tap won't turn the machine off, thankfully. Perhaps the only other big issue is that HP has opted for half height up and down arrow key. I much prefer an inverted T-shape, which I've seen HP use on other laptops, like its Victus gaming lineup. Thank you everyone for watching us till the end. It would be a great pleasure for us if you are a little help with this video. Comment us below.